We've made hash browns on the griddle. We've made omelets on the griddle. Today, we're combining the two to make what we anticipate may be our best breakfast cook to date. You wanna see how we make these hash brown omelets? Stick around while we dig, dig in. Hey, welcome, welcome back. back. I'm Adam. I'm Brett. And we are the, the Wall Twins. Twins. If this is your first time here with us though, welcome. welcome. Consider subscribing and hit the notification bell so you don't miss anything that we do, no matter where we're doing it. And today we happen to be in the backyard diner yep. for this one. And I gotta say, Brett, yep. we could talk about it, but also we've got some fresh that potatoes, does, shredded, browns. shredded, rinsed, squeezed out with cheesecloth dried out, and they're pink and out, so we gotta hurry. That's what I was gonna say. We've got some potatoes that need to be tossed on the grill. So, Brett, hurry and get to the grocery so we can get this good going. All right, right here we have shredded three potatoes, and they are sitting here in this bowl. And then we are going to be using onions, tomatoes, ham cubes, and then we'll be uh, whisking up some eggs and laying them over top. You will see the process as we go. American cheese and our seasoning of choice, the usual suspects. Right, obviously when you're doing omelets, you put whatever you want in it. And this, this came down to more of what we had. I would love to put some green peppers in, didn't have any green peppers. Yep. We've got some tomatoes for that freshness. Yeah. We've got some onions, which we'll actually not saute, but we'll put on the griddle for just a little bit. Yep. We're gonna start cooking these up and let's get to the process so you can see how it goes. Here we go. All right, for All right. starters, I'm just gonna lay down a bunch of butter right here. All right, just a bunch of butter. All right, and that thing's screaming, Bray. Let's go ahead and get those it's, potatoes on yep. now. And they're gonna start browning up as so, soon. So yeah, they start to get thing, but you can see we've dried these out as best we can. So these are pretty darn dried out. Yep. And then gonna get these cooking. I would Brett, maybe spread it out a little bit more, put more yep. butter down. This is gonna take up a little bit more space than we anticipated, which I'm a-okay with. As well as myself. So the far left is turned on to low, the other two are medium low. If you're looking at the hands on the clock, you're looking at about 35 past the hour, right about the seven. That's about typically where we cook at. And the far left one is all the way down at about six o'clock. Then all I'm going to do, I just wanna warm these ham cubes up so that when they get put on, they'll start to brown just a little bit, but that way, when we're ready to put them on, it will actually help cook the eggs and everything else that's good, that are gonna go on top of the hash browns. All right, so Brett, I guess I'll man the ham. Sure. You man the potatoes. Yeah. And those are cooking. Do we need to turn that down a little bit? It was on it's for all quite a little bit. Yeah. All right, let's turn that down a little so we can control the cook. I just got done talking about where we're cooking the temperature wise. But what we've learned is low and slow is the best way to start because you can always bring the temperature and change as needed. It's easier to, to bring up than it is to cool down once it's just cooking because it is hot. facts. Uh, I want to shout out to True North Cafe, awesome channel. If you haven't checked him out, please do so. He's a really cool dude. And uh, we got this little tip from him. We want to lay these as thin as possible. And then we want to cook them about 95% through. We're going to throw the eggs in, and then they're going to continue to cook. We're going to throw down the cheese, and then dress them with the ham and the veggies as well. Right, another quick shout out I've got to give to him is, you know, typically when we do these, we always go with like shredded cheese. We go with uh, cheddar, something like that. I love American cheese. Yes. And he's like, you know what, do what you like. He happens to love those craft singles. We get our uh, we get our American cheese from the in, deli in bulk, either from the deli or actually from Sam's Club in bulk. We love it, it is so good. So that's what we're doing today. I just love uh, the meltiness of American cheese, which pairs really well with other cheeses, but today we're just pairing it with the eggs, the, the potatoes and all the other goodness here. Yeah. So, so that's it. Now I will say one question we get la asked a lot about the Pit Boss Sierra griddle and the, the ultimate griddles in general is the five burner has a, the grease trap right here where the Sierra has it up in the front, whether or not we like it. To be honest, we do love it. And part of it is because we can control it. We've gotten food in there before, just like we used to get food in the rear grease trap system. But the fact of the matter is I really appreciate it because I can keep an eye on it and see how full it is. And it's, a, it's just never been a problem. I think one thing too is maybe that's something that people think too much of. Or, or think that it's gonna be a problem, and quite frankly, it's just not. Brett, would you agree that it almost doesn't matter? Yep. Man, Brett, those are cooking up nice. We're a little bit crispy over here, right on the edges where it's really thin. Yep. The middle still probably needs a good five, six minutes before we start getting the eggs. So, Brett is prepping the eggs. We're gonna do six eggs here. We may use the whole mix, we may not. Yep. Other than the eggs, we are putting salt and pepper in the eggs, and I'm gonna go ahead and throw Got on you. some usual fact, here, Give me some usual spice. I'll go ahead and do that right now while I'm oh, here. Really? Huh. Interesting. Thanks, buddy. Gotta, give the Gotta make sure the ham is. All right. Yeah, it tastes like ham. 
All right, so Usual Suspects. If you don't know what Usual Suspects is, this is just a mix that Brett and I have come up with. We absolutely love it. We use this for everything. It is just, just about a GSP. Everything. It's a garlic, salt, pepper with onion powder, adobo, accent, uh, accent and uh, I think that's about it. It's, there's not very many ingredients, but we love this, and we do put this on just about everything. And so we do love it, and that's what we're seasoning with. Like I said, the information for this will be down in the description below how to make it, but also you can use whatever seasoning you like. So we're gonna scramble the eggs right here, and it's just a real quick scramble. So here's what's gonna happen. When we lay the eggs down, they're gonna look like they're not cooking all the way through before we start flipping and moving things around. But don't worry about it. They will cook all the way through by the time this thing is done and ready to eat. Brett, is it time to lay the eggs? Layeth the eggeth down. So it's time to get the eggs in here. So we're gonna go ahead and lay this in. Brett, looks like six eggs was perfect. Yep, and then you wanna take yep. spread that around. Spread you go around. ahead and spread that around. All right, we're gonna let that sit for just a minute. Let that really cook through. So these potatoes are really hot. So those are gonna to start to cook the eggs. The cheese is gonna start melting on top. We have the ham cubes, the tomatoes, the onions, everything else. And then we're gonna divide this and fold these over. Now we're gonna lay the cheese down. All right, we are making three separate omelets, hopefully. So we're gonna be spreading these out a bit. Per Adam's request, we're adding more cheese. We're gonna connect the dots here, because why not? All right, so it is time to get the ham going. So Brett, I'm gonna use the big trough here, if you will, and we're just going to layer the ham cubes like such. You know, we got two packages of ham cubes. This was one. Yep, that was, <laughs> that was all that's uh, necessary. Definitely, this was enough. Yep, and then well, it depends on your style. I like them. Super, we had talked about super meaty. We had discussed possibly sautéing the onions. Oh, we thought, I you did know want what? to. Did you want to? Yeah, let's go ahead and put the onions down. In fact, I forgot. Let's get a little bit of because we've got a little bit of time here. So we're just going to go ahead and put a little butter. And I'm literally just a minute or two on these just to really get them warm and kind of yeah. just to get them buttery. We don't want to get them too crispy. There so. you go. <laughs> I'm glad Brett mentioned that, man. We've done this before and we've just thrown the onions, or as Brett did, literally just slayed them right on top of the meal, the, the food. But this is a little bit better. There we go. All right, all right, all right. Brett, you know what? We've got some ham cubes that aren't getting a snack in the dish. Ham, Adam. Oh, is snack that snack and ham? That's snack and I'm ham. taking your snack and ham. Fine. As you can already see, the cheese is melting, which means the eggs are cooking as well. That's right. So we're gonna get these onions. Brett, you wanna start getting the tomatoes in? Cause we don't need these on here for very long at all. That's correct. Apparently these are what we're calling loaded omelets. <laughs> loaded omelets indeed. All right, slightly caramelized. So these are gonna have a little crunch, but not too much. Brett, yep, look you, at those. One look thing those you want to remember is nice. the more you cook onions, the softer they're going to get, the more transparent they're going to get. So if you want them a little more crispy, uh, you want to you don't wanna, uh, really throw them on it. You can just go and throw, throw them straight raw if you want them really crispy. Otherwise, they're just going to continue to cook and soften as they cook. Right. All right, time to get the onions on. <laughs> All right, Brett is going to get ready to divide this. Say it, okay, so right, we're gonna get it. up under, fold that over. All oh, right. Got that nice GBD right <laughs> Brett, there. Brett, we should have just done the burrito. We, we should have just done the burrito. <laughs> you want me to? You want to turn this omelet into a burrito? Are we turning this into an omelet trifle uh, burrito? No, is that gonna it's gonna out? break up right there, yeah. So we're gonna break this right here. That from that side, go in. in. All right, and then we can cut it down the middle. All right. All right, we get a little bit more usual suspects on the outside. All right, Brett needs some clearance space to flippity doo da. There we and go. Flippity doo da day, my guy. Okay, so let's put this over. Do the same thing with this one. Let me two floppity flippu. Look at that. Look at that mm. little split right there. But otherwise, Brett, those are what we call in the business beautiful. Yep. 
I don't know if you knew that. In our business, that's in what we our call business? it. Wow. Mine. Nope. All right, we're gonna let these finish cooking up and we're gonna get some B-roll on this. Let's do this. Well, there it is, and yeah, I gotta there say it this. Is. There they are. There they are in all their glory. Yes, and my now gosh. we're gonna start the timer. Timer. We have five minutes to finish these. <laughs> winner, oh. You know what the winner gets? A t-shirt that says <laughs> I did it. <laughs> and a picture hanging on the wall. Oh, that is not true, but man, I am super excited to dig into this. In fact, it's been sitting a couple minutes. Yep. So, I mean, it's still piping hot inside. Yes. But this was such a fun process, and I, I would say overall it turned out exactly how I hoped it would. Yes. I'm super excited to dig in. Again, yep. True North, thanks for the tips we learned from you, and also Griddle Grub. Yes. Followed a little bit of what he did, also did a great job on his. So go ahead and check him out as well. Love what they're doing. Uh, in the griddle and cooking community. Yes. But Brett, like we say, it can look amazing. Ah, uh, looks amazing. Oh man, like we say, it can smell amazing. Can I get a smell yeah? Smell yeah, you can. Yeah, I but can. But if this doesn't taste amazing, then this was all, all for not. not. I'm gonna get a nice big bite right here. Cheers, I'll eat to that, my brother. Mm. Bro, usual suspects for yep. the win. Oh my gosh. The American cheese for the win. Onions for the win, tomato, the ham cube for the win. Now, I didn't want bacon in this. Adam said, no, first of all, we didn't have any, but that's perfect. That is perfect. Well, let me put this down mm. real quick. I look at the inside and you see that soft potato and they get a little crunch and everything. Oh yeah, the onion. The onion's got a nice little bite to it, yep. perfect. Usual Suspects was was knowing it. And this this is massive. This was fun to come do a large one on there. It was, and relatively inexpensive because uh, the, the yeah. three potatoes, right? maybe a couple of bucks there, the ham cubes, couple mm -hmm. of bucks. Yeah, so all in all, this was less than 10 bucks for that huge, this would the feed, two huge omelets. Easily yeah. feeding the whole family. Yep, exactly right. Easily feeding the whole family. Yep. So we absolutely love getting to come and do this. This one yes. was another banger, another fun one to do. And one we've been doing, talking about doing for a while. We weren't sure whether we want to do the fold over omelet or we've seen people roll these like up a burrito. like a big burrito. Well, now we're going to have to do a, a, a hash brown burrito. Burrito, which I, I think so. And we could actually like the chorizo in there, like a real, like, I think we're, I, that, oh, the yeah. potato is okay. better. Dot, 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 stay tuned. Right. Or stay tuned, dot, Super dot, Super excited dot. for that one. If you did enjoy this and this gives you another idea of something that you can cook on your griddle, make sure and give this a thumbs up. We really do appreciate it. It's one way in which you can support us in what we do. Another way you can support us is through our merchandise. There's a link to our store in the description below this video. Our merchandise is brought to you through Digital Promotions, works closely with Crossroads Missions. And Crossroads Missions does amazing service work. In fact, a portion of all the purchases made through the Wall Twins goes to benefit Crossroads Missions and their amazing service. We love getting to come and do this and we love getting to work with partners like Crossroads Missions, Digital Promotions. But Brett, what else we love? Our Patreon, shout out to our Griddle Entourage. We love you guys so much. Thank you so much for your support. In fact, if you'd like to find out how you can support us through our Patreon, that information is down below as well. Right, thank you so much to our Griddle Entourage. We do love you guys and everybody else for being here. Thank you so much. We love getting to come and share this passion of yes. cooking with you. Brett, aside from coming to make this banger, I wanna go and eat some more, so let's get yeah. back here. Let's do it. Why else are we doing this? Because all we do is twin, no, no matter, matter what. what. With that, we bid you adieu. And don't forget to like and subscribe. And griddle on. on.